This is Wilman Ziada, New York City-based director and creator of theater, television, and film. And today I am thrilled to be speaking with the acclaimed painter, Hung Chu. But before we get to our interview, I just am so excited, Hung Chu, to be meeting you. You are in Korea, nighttime. I am in New York City, morning time. This is what I love about Phoenix. I have been able to interview hundreds of artists in different countries besides the United States. First and foremost, Hung Chu, how are you today? I am good, how are you? I'm doing well, thank you. The, you are in your studio in Korea. Yes, I am. You are surrounded by some of your beautiful artwork. Hung Chu, I wanna know first and foremost, where were you born and when did you realize that you had such a love of art? Talk a little bit about your art journey. So I was born, raised and educated in South Korea and I got my bachelor's degree. I studied Asian studies in my college years and I graduated and I just wanted to study some more English. So I moved to the States to study English. And after that, I just wanted to do some more, study some more. So I moved to the Portland and I accidentally took some classes like the drawings and painting classes and they hooked me up. Oh, well, thank goodness you took those classes because we the world wouldn't have your beautiful artwork. And Hung Chu, I want to know, what is it about what is it about the use of color for you that um, allows you to express what you want to express through your painting? So when I started my painting, at first I just wanted to use uh, those dark colors. I mixed my phthalo greens and alizarin, make my own black, and I started with my own black on the canvas. And then I thought it was too dark for me emotionally as well. So I just tried to move forward and I used some colors, the bright colors and those of contrast, vivid colors. And I liked, I think I liked it right now. I'm mixing a lot and I use a lot of bright colors compared to my past. Now, do you use the same foundation of that white and black for everything that you do? Is that something you do for everything or no? Not, not really. Yeah, because I was about to say in the artwork that I've seen, I'm not seeing any of, you know, of the black all the time, but I'm also mm -hmm. curious for you, where do you gain inspiration? Where do you find yourself gaining a lot of your inspiration from for your paintings? I assume nature. Yeah, of course. I, I try to paint the thing that I see. I, I really like that the experience, the fundamental instinctive experience that I, when I see the things, especially those of nature's, nature's change. And when the nature's, I don't know, the things, the plants and flowers at death, when I see those things, I think those are too beautiful to paint. So I don't know. I no, I love it. Those things a lot. You know what? I'm I'm currently working on an original musical about Vincent Van Gogh, and mm -hmm. I have been immersed in his work. And I can't stop thinking a lot of his paintings of flowers, specifically. You, it reminds me so much of what you do. Were you inspired at all by Vincent Van Gogh at all? Of course, he inspired me a lot. Uh, his life and his, uh, I think his way of see, see the things, I think, and yeah. uh, the use of materials as well. Oh, so you really, same materials? I mean, I use oil as well, like he did. <laughs> Correct. And also yeah. what I love about what you both do, it's you have an ability to almost like, I'm, I'm a director, so excuse my mm -hmm. director language, but it's like you're doing a close up on right. nature at the specific, textures and all of that good stuff that we normally don't get in paintings. Mm -hmm. So I try to capture those uh, instinctive moments, the visceral, the embodied experience, I think. 
Absolutely. Well, listen, I want to let our audience know, of course, for more on the amazing Hung Chu, you can read more about her right below this video. And Hung Chu, people can also take some of Hung Chu's amazing work home with them. They can just go to your website, correct? Right. Yeah, my website shows a lot of it. But some various uh, international online galleries, so you can select the Sachi or you can select the single art, the artling as well. So, yeah, it's up to you. Hung Chu, your family must be so proud of you. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Are they like, what? You chose the art world. Why wouldn't you do something stable? Do you get that? Uh, before moving, before moving to the States, I worked at a bank and I was a banker. And oh, I don't wow. know, my parents were proud of me at that time. But after I changed my career and I decided to be a painter and my parents said, why, why do you want to be an artist? But right now they seem pretty okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, because they see how well you're doing. And you look at Hung Chu, I'm also curious. Obviously, we live in a time right now that's, it's not so great. But thank God we have artists like you that remind us of the beauty of the world. Have you, are you working on, are you constantly working on new pieces? Yeah, I do. I think it's like, a, my thing is addiction. So when I start my work the new work i'm so into the canvas i just wanted to paint something on the, the white canvas and after a few moments i just wanted to do some more and more it gets larger and it gets bigger and it changes a lot and i make a lot at the same time oh i love it you know hung chu i want to know too for young artists out there you know, I feel like as artists, we can all relate. There's a time in our life when someone who we love or people that we love may not get what we do and why we do it. What advice would you give to an, a young artist out there who may not have that initial support from loved ones? Mm, in my case, uh, uh, I moved to the States and I started to. to I just wanted to be an artist and I studied really hard and I worked really hard. But at that time I was like more than 30. So I got my master's over 30 years old. So I think if you really want to do something and if you want to be an artist, just keep going and keep doing what you want to do. <laughs> uh, what's such great advice. And um, I just also love the sentiment that no matter how old we are, mm -hmm. there's always an opportunity to unlock yeah. the inner child in us, that there's something ageless about the inner child in us. Right. Just to follow your inner child voice and... <laughs> Keep I going. love that. Wait, Hung Chu, that's going to be your memoir title. Follow your inner child voice. Yeah. Yeah, you're like, okay, well, enough. <laughs> um, Hung Chu, um, I just want to, again, let the audience know. For more on the incredible Hung Chu, you can read more about her right below this video. Hung Chu, I'm so happy you are joining this amazing new social media app that's going to connect you with not only fans, but fellow artists not only in Korea, but all over the world. What is it about this idea of this collective, this artistic community that mm -hmm. lives online through the Phoenix app? Does that excite you? An opportunity for you to, you know, collaborate with fellow artists? I was not that into in tech, but recently, like this COVID pandemic things, I think it's really good thing. When Phoenix emailed me, I didn't know the Phoenix before, but I searched a lot and I watched a lot of videos, including you and other artists. Oh my and God, I'm so sorry. You watched all of my, <laughs> you and my mom, both of you. <laughs> but 
I was really glad to see a lot of other artists' work and their life as well. Oh, well, listen, I'm so glad that you're joining the platform, Hong Chu. You're incredible. I mean, I'm so, so happy. I'm so happy that we are now connected. Thank you so much. Yeah. Thank you.